Today, the name Errol Sea serves as a symbol of an environmental tragedy caused by humans in the 20th century. Understanding the full extent of the damage is difficult. But what's even more difficult is tackling this issue. Several international organizations are currently undertaking systematic efforts to address the crisis. Based on the findings and recommendations from the Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services thematic assessments on pollinators, pollination and food production, and land degradation and restoration, the United Nations Development Program in Kazakhstan and the Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services Network are promoting sustainable land management practices. This initiative aims to address the impacts of desertification, restore land productivity, and enhance living conditions in southern Kazakhstan. From 2014 to 2018, with financial support of the Global Environment Facility, Kazakh government and the UN Development Program implemented an extensive project focused on conserving desert ecosystems. The Aral region was one of the pilot areas of this initiative. Experts recognize that bringing the Aral Sea back to its original state might not be feasible. But minimizing the environmental costs to humans remains possible. To this day, desertification continues to be the primary issue in the area. The wind carries salt, dust, and sand from the dried seabed over great distances, exposing the lands of the Aral Sea region to degradation. Desert ecosystems are highly vulnerable. Therefore, one of the primary goals of the project was to showcase the tools and capacities for sustainable management of desert landscapes. We started with territorial planning, also known as landscape planning, using scientific data, GIS analysis as well as natural resource and socioeconomic assessments. This led to the development of a functional zoning scheme for the Aral region, which administratively included the Aral and Kazalinsky districts. We defined the zones for sustainable farming, transhumans, recreation, fishing, forestry, and several others, and for each zone, we also developed measures to be implemented, including environmental protection. With the support of UNDP, between 2016 and 2017, a sustainable afforestation center was established at the Errol Forest Conservation Institution. This initiative involved the reconstruction of the existing forest nursery, covering a total area of 3 hectares. The main water source for the Errol Nursery, the Shalakarit Canal, underwent reconstruction, and a drip irrigation system was implemented for efficient watering. Additionally, a wind solar station was installed to supply electricity. Consequently, the cultivation of tree crops expanded twofold, comprising 300,000 saxol and 20,000 deciduous seedlings. Notably, the survival rate of these crops increased to 90%, a significant achievement given the arid conditions of the Aral Sea region. Another noteworthy pilot project implemented in the Aralkum area of the Kizilorda region aims to halt the movement of sands, testing both mechanical and phytomeliorative methods. Approximately 25,000 seedlings of drought-resistant species, including Saxol, Caligonum, and Atrophaxis, were planted on two hectares of pre-installed reed mats. A year later, we observed the matured Saxol and Caligonum held up the sands very effectively, resulting in the sodding of the soil, halting sand movement. Saxol trees not only prevent sand drift but also maintains water balance and prevents dust storms. One mature Saxol tree can retain up to four tons of sand. In other words, the divided green islands, naturally expanding, will eventually close in together. Establishing a resilient and expansive oasis on the drained bottom of the Aral Sea is only one of the goals of restoring the Aral region. The comprehensive approach, which includes political initiatives to increase water levels and local efforts for wetland and pasture restoration, as well as the adoption of less water-intensive crops, the development of aquaculture, and the establishment of fish hatcheries, ethno-villages, scientific and tourist centers, aims not only to address environmental issues but also to provide momentum for the socio-economic life of the region. Collaboration is essential to achieve this goal.